Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be winding up with um, the IGCC ICT February, March 2018, uh, paper two. Um, the last couple of videos we've done, document production, data manipulation, uh, we've done mail manage, and now we do presentation, which is the final part of this paper. We are going to create a short presentation about new building developments at Tawara um, um, University. The presentation should be based on must slide that you design you must make sure that there is consistent layout for all the slides and the first slide is a title slide and no objects overlap so you need to make sure that you adhere to this uh, criteria here okay so create a presentation of five slides using the file 1803 presentation.rtf so let's go ahead and open first for powerpoint okay and um start a blank presentation and let's go ahead and um, open the file so just browse work files and go to all files and now we have presentation which is this one and now it is imported now we are told here that um, the first slide should be a title slide so we need to change the first slide the layout should be changed to title slide yeah okay that looks good then we are also told that um there should be consistent layout for all the slides so which means this can be done in the master slide and then object overlap this cannot be done in the master slide so um uh, format slide one so that a title slide layout is applied we've just done that and then the titles uh, uh, the title and subtitle are placed in the center of the slide um the one we chose actually has automatically that so the title and subtitle they are placed in the center of the slide and then your name appears um, after the text presentation by Okay, so presentation by then your name remove the brackets um that's uh evans okay and um, so done with that then use a single master slide to display at least four of the following features on all slides these may include things like um uh, texts lines logos images slide uh, numbers colors or templates uh, may have animation or transitions so all this can be done so let's start with lines logos or images slide numbers we can do this on this master slide so we're going to insert go to view master slide and we scroll right to the very top of the master slide and i'm going to insert something on the master slide so i will insert first of all a shape um like that i'll put it um right here yeah that looks good uh notice it has been applied on all the slides and then i'm going to insert um an image um we have some images in there so I'll insert this image okay so just resize it i'll insert it maybe around there okay that should be fine and um, um the images should not overlap that's one thing we should know um you can preview it just to see how um, the work is going to look uh, notice the image is there there shouldn't be any overlapping so go back to your master slide so we need to insert some text of some kind so i'm going to um Go to slide master i'm going to insert the title for this um, um, text so right here i'm going to resize this and push it a little bit down i'm going to push this down okay that's the title now push this a little bit up okay and then what i'm going to do is to um insert I will set some line or maybe or something and set shape so we have a line and I'll draw it from here uh, going all the way up to there maybe um, mm -hmm, what do I need to do okay so then I can drag this this side just to make it look a bit neat um, Okay, then I'll have some text and set 
some text so let's put a text box or we can even use um, this just resize just do that just do that inside here I'm going to put some text and I'll say Tawara University okay and I'm just going to enlarge it okay that looks good um, yeah so let's view it um, in normal view nope not this view in normal view and notice how it looks Okay, so then you have got some text. So this is just like the title and stuff like that. This looks good. Mm -hmm. We can even sell it. <laughs> we can sell it, right? Okay, so maybe what I can do is to put an, um, um, this is a subtitle. And I'm going to put a line on the subtitle so that we, we see that the line was applied. So scroll up there and I'll put a line insert uh, shape line right below this one so that it looks um, like a title now the challenge is to make it straight okay there you go and I can increase the the weight of this line okay like that okay so what happens is if you go here for every view, notice that it's it's say. Now the problem with this line is that it protrudes. I mean, it's not good idea. Um, it's not a good idea. So um, what I'm going to do is um, what I can do maybe is to just go um, back to the master slide and remove this line. Just undo it, okay? And just highlight this. Um, highlight this and underline it i hope that works out okay underline it uh -huh. so now go to view and go to normal uh we underlined something else <laughs> i didn't scroll up to the first part okay so we underlined the last one so undo it and go up the first one and underline this one i hope it works out this time okay you go to normal and it doesn't underline okay that should be fine um at least we've put an image that's one let's see how many marks are there uh, you don't need to so there are two marks so that means um you need at least two things um four things but you get two marks so center number and center must all appear on the same slide so again the other thing that we didn't put is slide number we can put the slide number there um insert um slide number um this is slide number and we can have in the footer we can have our name zm556001 that apply to all okay um so that is going to be that so we need to i need to enable the slide number sorry i'll need to enable the slide number well, it's enabled, so why is it not showing? Okay, this is the this is on the master slide. So let's go to view, and okay, that's shown there. Okay, so we're done with this. Um, done with this one. On the slide, the building program create a table with five rows and five columns. On the slide, the building program. So um, slide building program. This one, we're going to create a table five rows and five columns so um, you can um, um, insert a table so I can delete this actually and insert a table with five rows and five columns like that just bring it down here and then next place the contents of the file 1803 table into um, this table so 18 table and then just copy this um, copy this uh -huh. in fact I could have just inserted the table um, so let's just go here 
and paste it in there okay and next insert a new row at the top of the table so at the top of the table we need to insert a new row so in just here you can go to set and then rows above okay that's that done then uh, merge the cells in this row and enter the title plan development phases so merge merge these rows uh where is merge cells and enter the title planned um development phases so let me see if d is capital okay everything is capital development development phases okay and then um save this presentation and save this okay so what we need to do now is to um uh, huh, huh, huh. okay so we print all the slides as handouts with the layout of two slides to the page we make sure that the text on all slides is easy to read right now the text is not easy to read so what we're going to do is just to center this so that it's title um center it and increase it like that um okay let me just decrease it first so that i increase the table first and okay like that just drag it a little bit further and okay and just that looks good and there then increase the size okay that should be fine um next thing that we're supposed to do is make sure that you enter your name send them a candy number and that is done and then this is option if you added screenshot to show transitions and stuff like that um, you can go ahead and get a screenshot so for example just for the sake of demonstration suppose i added transitions to um to the slides and i added animations fly in and stuff like that so what i need to do now is to get evidence that i've added um this so let's say the transitions uh, were added to all um were applied to all um let's see um select in fact you do well to apply it from the master slide because then it is applied to all okay so applied push to all and go to view and then go to normal and you see the stars there so you can get a screenshot of these as your optional evidence okay so you can get a screenshot of this as your optional evidence that you have added your transitions but in this case um it's showing that i've added only two two of them so you can go ahead and add to the other ones and make this as screenshot um evidence okay so yeah so Okay, so now we can get a screenshot like that copy it and paste it right um paste it right in the evidence document where it says option okay so that's option here and paste it right here so that's your evidence so there you go with um a powerpoint presentation section and um save and print your evidence document and this is where now you can go back and start rearranging your objects. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And um, don't forget to subscribe, to share, to comment, to like. And I'll see you in the next uh, video when we look at paper three of this same um, exam series. All right. Bye-bye.